let's see if we can get on the DK. There we go. Okay. Destiny calls to you. Mm. The call to war. A chilling thought brushes your mind. Hear me just checking. The Legion has returned. They hope to control us, to bend us to their will. Fools, they only walk back within reach of our blades. Your brethren within Dalaran have begun to gather at Crash Landing. Go meet with Duke Lancrell, and all will be explained. Okay, so uh, what we'll do first is we'll start off with uh, blood. Dwarf female death knight, everybody's favorite. If you're not playing a dwarf female death knight, are you you're really playing World of Warcraft? Hmm. Okay, before we start the quest, we'll go over the spell changes for a Blood Death Knight. Take some pictures of the pages. anti max shell, same as before. Blood Boils Air, Control Undead, Dancing Moon Weapon, Dark Man's Taunt, Death Gate, Death Gate. Rip. Let's strike. That's cares. Interesting. Marrow end. Smash the target dealing twelve point five K physical damage and generating three charges of bone shield. Okay, that's cool how it attacks, but so gives that. Air flood. Passives, mastery, IMO grain, increases the magnitude of death, strike critical hits by 50%. Okay, that looks all good. And cured blood. Okay, let's take a look at the talents. Talents for blood. A little bit different than unholy, but. Every 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 talent every uh, spec now has different um, now has different talents. So we'll go through all these real quick. Just taking screenshots. Okay, blood worms. If your death strike would heal you past full health, you create a blood worm. Blood worms explode if they aren't fed for ten seconds, on which they drop below fifty percent health. Healing you for 100% total of the excess healing. Feeding Frenzy. Excess runic power consumed by Death Strike increases the potency of the heal effect by an additional 15%. Rune Tap. Consume a rune to restore 20% of your health. You may recast the ability within 3 seconds without triggering the cooldown. I think we'll go with one of the passes. We'll go with uh, Feeding Frenzy. I like that. 57. Rapid decomposition. Decomposition. Your defile or death and decay deals 25% more damage to targets infected by blood plague. You gain 50% increased healing from blood plague while standing in your death and decay. Usurai? Usurai? Standing in your death and decay also causes Mararen to hit multiple targets. If Mararen hits at least two targets, an additional bone shield charge has a chance to be generated. Consume Vitality. 
Drain the life of all nearby enemies, damaging them for 3.6k shadow damage and restoring 25% of your missing health. That's pretty nice. Hmm. We'll go with Consume Vitality, see how that is. Runic Longevity, gain a 7th rune in regen and regen rate of your runes is increased by 10%. Runic Empowerment, when you spend Runic Power, you have a 1.0% chance to, per Runic Power spent to activate a random, fully depleted rune. Runic Corruption, when you spend Runic Power, you have a 1% chance per Runic Power spent to increase your Runic Regeneration Rate by 100% for 3 seconds. I like Runic Longevity. Uh, the same thing in Holy for this row. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this row is the same as Unholy. March of the Dam. Become immune to all moon impairing effects and effects that cause you to lose control of your character for 10 seconds. It does not break effects in process. Spellbreaker. Increase anti magic shells duration by 60% and maximum absorption value by 50%. Desiccator Ground. Corrupts all the ground in an 8 yard radius beneath the Death Knight for 10 seconds. While standing in this corruption, the Death Knight is immune to roots, snares, and effects that cause loss of control. Yeah, that is an odd name. I, I've i never seen that word in my life. Uh, Osere. It's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll go with Spellbreaker here. Next row is, uh, I guess, healing and stuff. Purgatory, passive. An unholy pact that prevents death when you sustain fatal damage. Instead, absorbing incoming healing equal to the amount of damage prevented lasting three seconds. If any healing absorption remains when the effect expires, you will die. This effect may only occur every three minutes. Death pact. Heals the death knife for 50% of max health and absorbs incoming healing equal to 25% of max health for 15 seconds. Exhum. Gain a charge of Bone Shield every second for 10 seconds. Go oh, Purgatory. Well, that one makes sense since it uh, gives you additional Bone Charges. So I guess it makes sense. Okay. Gorfiend's Grasp. Shadowy tendrils coil around the enemy within 20 yards of a target, hostile or friendly, pulling them to the target's location. Remorseless Winter. Surrounds the Death Knight with a swirling tempest of frigid air for 8 seconds, chilling enemies within 8 yards every 1 second. Each pulse reduces the target's movement speed by 15% for 3 seconds, stacking up 5 times. Upon receiving a 5th application, an enemy will be stunned for 6 seconds. Asphyxiate. Lifts an enemy target off the ground and crushes their throat with dark energy, stunning them for four seconds. Functions as a silence if the target is immune to stuns. I read this yesterday and I thought this was pretty interesting that it says crushes their throat. That's uh, it's quite brutal. Uh, I'm going to go with Remorse this winter, though. And the last row. Bone Storm. A whirl of bones and gore batters nearby enemies three times per second to deal 3.68 shadow damage, healing you for 1% of your maximum health per strike. Last six seconds. User entered your channel. Defile. Defiles the ground targeted by the Death Knight every one second. If there are... Uh, sorry guys, give me a second. I didn't realize it team speak. Let me, uh... Let me leave this real quick. Sorry about that. Disconnected. Okay, let's continue. Defile. Defile the ground targeted by the Death Knight. Every one second, if there are enemies standing in the defile, it deals 1.68 shadow frost damage to them. And grows in radius in damage by 2.5%. Enemies standing in your defile deal 10% less damage to you. Replace Death and Decay. Bereth of Cindergosa. Continuously deal 4.8k Shadow Frost damage every 1 second to enemies in a cone in front of you within 12 yards. Deals reduced damage to secondary targets. You will continue breathing until cancelled or runic power is exhausted. When Breath of Cinder Ghost deals damage, you heal for 25% of all damage taken in the last 6 seconds. Minimum 3% of maximum health. Triggers Blood Shield. 
I think we'll go Bone Storm. That seems the most interesting. Okay, on that note, though, was or the Blood Decay Towns. Uh, we're gonna go for the Blood Decay Artifact first as well. I will be doing the Unholy and push. Frost after. I'm sure you have many questions, but they're going to have to wait. We're at war now. We have to move quickly, but I'll try to explain what I can. A Pact of Necessity. We have an unexpected ally in this war. Just checking in. We're going to need every advantage we can get to defeat the Burning Legion. The Ebon Blade will serve as the Lich King's arm as long as the Scourge are confined to Northrend. In return of our assistance, our ally has offered to assist in obtaining powerful weapons for the strongest of our knights. Weapons powerful enough to end the Legion once and for all. You are one of the best. I want you to decide which weapon you would like to seek out. We will have our revenge. Okay. We'll just go over the blood for now. We'll do the other ones uh, when we get to them. Blood. Gorlix the Flesh Ripper is a, monst is a monstrous demon warrior. With his massive axe, the Maw of the Damned has devastated entire worlds on his own. We must not allow the Legion to possess a weapon this powerful. Take it and turn its power against them. Maw of the Damned. Equip. Your harmful attacks have a chance to deal 5.3k blood damage and increase your health by 15% for 10 seconds. The Maw's thirst is unquenchable. If it has not fed fresh victims, it will not hesitate to drink the blood from its wielder. That's interesting, so I wonder if you're idle for a while, if it'll, like, have a crazy effect. I will listen for now. Excellent choice. Suffer well. The Dead and the Damned. A powerful mind. A powerful mind again touches your thoughts. Gorlex the Fresh Ripper is a monstrous demon, the butcher of thousand worlds. He has exterminated countless races with his axe, the Maw of the Damned. A group of Heaven Blade was dispatched to slay him, but they have gone missing. You will succeed where they failed. Will not be al Will not be alone? I think that's what say you will not be alone. Will not be alone in this. I've sent Baron Silver ahead to assist you. Go obtain the uh, Maw of the Damned and ensure that Gorlix is no more. Sure. Portal. Okay. Let's pull that off my chest there. We press on. Ashes. Right, Z must to the broken shore. Okay, we might have to leave the area real quick and come back. This is a, a bug I had yesterday when I was trying to do one of the other quests. There it is, boys. The Broken Isles. I'm pretty excited that Dollar Run's back. I liked Dollar Run a lot when it was uh, the main city. I didn't have any problems with it. Yeah, a lot of runes. All these are death runes as well. Used by most death knights attacks. One of each rune recharges every second. So I guess until I use them, they are death runes. I'm not sure how the new rune system works, so I guess we'll find out. What? I told Baron Silver that you were coming, but he ran in away. He ran in anyway. The fool's going to get himself killed. We press on! You need something. That's a pretty cool portal. We got this side of the portal secured. 
Yeah, he he looks like he got it secured. Or that.